took pride in our shows. We took pride in being energetic, and that's why we came up with the name Full Force. Full Force, get crazy one time. And we were like a hip-hop rock band. And my brother Paul used to strip every night on our show. We ran a G-string with girls used to go crazy. I would come out with spandex, knee-high leather boots. Sometimes I wear makeup. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I come out the whole thing. Well, I got one on now if you want. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. One of our first production ventures ever, well, probably our first one, our first one was a um, group named UTFO. And fortunately, uh, it caught on, because I didn't like Roxanne and Roxanne. So we did one about it, was dissing all the guys, and it took off. It was kind of like the shot heard around the world, you know, because then next thing you know, there was somewhat like 25 answer records to the Roxanne phenomenon. Called Elisa Lisa, got two guys that worked with us, Soul Jam. And next thing you know, that was it. It was all released in England, it was huge over there. Then there was a big bidding war for full force between Columbia and Warner Brothers. Guess who's coming to the crib? Full Force started producing all those teen groups. We were like the only and first black production team to start doing these white teen bopper groups. And nobody knew they were going to explode like they did. Backstreet, Sink, Britney. People were shocked and stunned. And even our peers. They were like, wait a minute. Full Force did? Wait, Full Force, Full Force? Wait, the guys with the Jerry Curl, they did that? You know what I mean? And we love that, you know? And we continue to do that. And the thing about it is our roots is hip hop. Our roots is from the hip hop. R&B style, that's where we came from, and it's to have somebody like a Method Man come into your spot, and he starts rubbing the walls in our Brooklyn studio, and then like rubbing it on himself, just giving us that respect. To have somebody like the Neptunes, Pharrell and Chaz, the Neptunes are so hot. And, and they checked the bit. And they only have to split it two ways. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but Pharrell just kept bowing to us, giving us respect, Chad. but just the um, artists. They always give full force respect and props, and we feel so humbled by it, you know what I mean? They're playing basketball. Uh, music always recreates itself, because back about 20 years ago, we co-wrote a song called Basketball for Curtis Blur. Curtis Blur. So, you know, it's a beautiful thing, where it just keeps going on and on. We're just so proud of ourselves because we're still in this game, and we're still doing it. You know, we've kind of put some of the bricks in this building that now everybody lives in, you know, the hip-hop world, you know, so it's a blessing. Full force, get busy one time. Full force on weekend. Skip it, it, boom, it, it, boom, boom. Wait, that's the test. I still got it, Dad. I still got it. We can still do it. Yo, who 